The Castillo de San Marcos in St. Augustine, Florida. Completed in 1692 under the flag of Spain, it's the oldest masonry fortress in North America. In the realm of can't miss family adventure, few places are better than this. It has it all. History, mystery, and best of all, things that go boom. Ranger talks and secret passageways to explore make the Castillo a living, breathing classroom. And the real crowd pleaser? The cannon reenactment they do on the weekends. Who's ready to see a gun go off? They create an authentic atmosphere by paying attention to details, like conducting the drill in Spanish. And they do a great job of exhibiting the complicated, dangerous process of firing an ancient cannon. But even with the meticulous attention to detail we see here, the ranger I spoke with explained they've abbreviated the ceremony to make it more crowd friendly. And uh, the drill that we're given is similar to the drill that they would have given. Uh, our drill is actually very, very short comparatively. We condense down the steps to about 36 for the cannon drill. For the Spanish, it would have been 72 steps, um, lasting 15 to 20 minutes. It takes a little long, especially in the heat. The rangers and volunteers here consider themselves the latest in a long line. We are. We're the newest generation of the caregivers of the fort and uh, kind of the custodians of it. We have nothing on the guys that came here before and built it, but we definitely are uh, part of their lineage and we want to keep it alive and keep it going, so we're all part of one big family. Mmm, that smells like history. You might think this fortress was built to defend against navies hostile to Spain, but that was not the case. Before the Spaniards built this version of the fort made out of stone, they built other versions that were made out of wood, and it was actually burned to the ground nine separate times, not by the British and not by the French, but by pirates. And that's who this fort was built to protect against, the pirates that were infesting these waters to get their hands on the treasure that the Spanish government was moving out of this area at a pretty furious rate. Its four-point design and firepower kept it from ever being overrun. The size of the cannonballs that they used here at Castillo de San Marcos ranged all the way from a small six-pound ball up to a full 32-pound ball. This mortar here, which is used mainly for close quarters fighting, was probably the 32-pound ball because the opening is absolutely huge now. If they happen to get in within the defenses of the large cannon, these would be used to fend off ground troops fighting on the castle walls. Conditions here for prisoners were miserable, and the Castillo housed some pretty famous Native American captives, like the great Seminole warrior Osceola, who contracted the disease that killed him behind these very doors. The fort is one of only two in the world constructed of a type of limestone called coquina, a natural conglomerate of sand and tiny seashells. It was the only stone available to the Spanish in this area, but it had unforeseen advantages. Pockets of air between the shells caused cannonballs to lodge within the walls rather than shatter them. A great defense, but there were techniques that could be employed to make life very difficult for the people behind these walls. The only way to take a fort like the Castillo back in those days was via a siege. Now the longest siege here at the Castillo de San Marcos lasted for 57 days. What do you do for food for 57 days when you've got cannon keeping you inside the fort? Well, you fill your moat with cattle, which is what they did. 600 head of cattle filled this moat and they butchered over 400 of them during that 57 day siege. Now was that siege successful? Did they dislodge the troops from inside here? Absolutely not not with that kind of food source here. This place has walls that are as hard as my head. In a town with no skyscrapers, the Castillo de San Marcos will get you some of the best views in St. Augustine. And not just of the city. And the young private exhibiting how not to clean a cannon.
water. 